the truth. Final four minutes, you have 12 points. Can you kind of take us through that stretch or so what your mindset was just giving the ball on the game? Well, it was about eight. Uh, we were struggling a bit. And I just told myself, happy to clip. Uh, we got some good shots. Uh, I got five on three pointer. I think that's what got me going. I made those three free throws. And I felt good shooting the mid range, as always. Um, I just try to try to press go and shoot every time. Not well, not shoot bad shots, but try to get a good shot every time. Just given the fact that you guys have played without Semper earlier this season for 11 games and then two more, where, where did you see that going to play with how the team played, how you approached your role? Uh, well, you know, knowing that we, everything we do on the offensive end is kind of centered around how Steph can play, you know, they're shooting and they're three point shooting and, you know, just shooting overall. Um, so without Steph, we miss it a lot on the offensive side of the ball. So uh, just try to be aggressive. Like you said, we played without Steph early on and we, we've seen we had plenty of games just like that where we had to, we struggled to, you know, get the flow that we normally have because obviously, you know, Steph is so good at moving off the basketball, screening, and, you know, playing in a pick and roll. So um, I thought Quinn did a good job of uh, playing, playing hard, playing defense, and, you know, spacing the floor for us, getting us in, you know, playing with pace. And, um, you know, we just tried to make up for not having Steph, you know, D West, Andre, I think I stepped up. Uh, Draymond had yet another triple double tonight. He didn't have the best shooting night, but he obviously just kept that fight for going for you guys everywhere on the court. Uh, when he, when he's going like that, what does it bring for you guys? Well, he's just you know we not Draymond really doesn't care about shooting the basketball, and um, for him you know he was active all all game. I think when Coach switched our coverage up on Aldridge, you know they were getting a lot of layups off the off the double team once they switched it up. Draymond fought him every time, made him shoot a tough shot, made him, um, you know, pass the ball out for a pick and roll. So, you know, ankle injury is kind of always a worry, uh, you know, especially, you know, um, he's done it so many times where you can kind of tell immediately whether he can get through it or not by his reaction. And um, just by that reaction that he had tonight, it's, it's kind of a worry. And so, you know, it's great to hear that he's okay. And, I thought it would be fine sometime soon, but it's just always kind of hold your breath type of moment you know, when that happens. Your goal, you want to be healthy too. You want to obviously win the championship. But with Steph now maybe going to, you know, certainly going to miss the next game, how do you view the number one seed? Is it something, okay, maybe you put it on the back burner or is it something you still are going to go for? I don't think it's something that kind of been on the back burner. It's not. It's not really something that we've talked about at all. Um, and so, and we, you know, we we've been here, you know, for a few years now. Um, we know what it takes to win a championship. I'm not sure if there's any series we've ever played in that we didn't win a road game. You know, so if you're gonna win, you gotta go in on the road anyway. So. We're not worried about that. Uh, who who doesn't want to be the number one seed? You know, I think. And if I sat here and said, "Oh, we don't care. We don't want to be the number one seed," I'd be lying to you. But it's not something that we're worried about. Uh, and it's also not something that we're going to say, "Oh, steps out, it's over. We can't do it." Like, no, next man up. You know, we we've won games without Steph. We won games without myself. We won games without Kevin. And possibly Clay. I'm not sure Clay hardly ever misses a game. But, uh, you know, so next guy up, and you know Quinn was really good for us tonight. You know, you know a couple of those shots fall, and you know I think a lot more people was talking about him. But the way he played, he was solid. He defended well for us, and you know so he's going to get opportunity. Uh, Sean obviously is going to be who he is for us, and other guys just got to step up. Nick Young stepped up tonight, so. Oh, that's always been our mentality, and we're not going to say, oh, steps out, we can't do it. Like, no, we still win games. Second and third quarter.